Hi guys and welcome to the Football Cards and Stickers Premier League 2017-18 season. This is where we recreate every game week played in the Barclays Premier League 2017-18 by opening three packets of the Topps Match Attacks Premier League 2017-18 trading card game and any players pulled from those packs will score an imaginary goal for their respective club in those respective game week fixtures. So without further ado, let's get on with the game week shown on screen now. So as you see from the current table, after 31 games, Manchester City lead the way at the top of the Football Cards and Stickers Match Attacks Premier League by three points from Manchester United, their local rivals. Meanwhile, in the relegation zone, Brighton, Crystal Palace and Stoke City occupy those places. Today's fixtures we've got for you are Arsenal versus Stoke, Brighton versus Leicester, Chelsea v Spurs, Crystal Palace vs Liverpool, Everton vs Manchester City, Man United vs Swansea, Newcastle entertain Huddersfield, West Ham vs Southampton, Watford vs Bournemouth and finally West Bromwich Albion vs Burnley. So let's get these games straight underway then. And we start with a goal for Newcastle. Uh, Mikel Marino has opened the scoring at home to Huddersfield. Meanwhile, Craig Cathcart scores for Watford at home to Bournemouth. Hector Bellerin has given Arsenal the lead at home to Stoke, uh, but that's been cancelled out virtually immediately, as you see there, by Ryan Shawcross. Uh, Antonio Valencia has given Manchester United the advantage at Old Trafford against Swansea. They lead by a goal to nil. Uh, Nathan Redmond uh, has scored away to West Ham United for Southampton. Uh, Davinson Sanchez has given uh, Spurs the lead in the London derby away at Stamford Bridge there. Uh, but the youngster Charlie Mazunda from Chelsea has equalised virtually straight away there as you see. And Aiden Hazard has turned the game right on its head uh, with the second goal for Chelsea just before half-time there. They lead Spurs by two goals to one. Our next goal goes to Ashley Westwood, who breaks the deadlock uh, in the West Bromwich Albion versus uh, Hud um, Burnley game. Sorry, And as you see there, Schindler has equalised for Huddersfield at St James's Park. That's now Newcastle 1, Huddersfield 1. Uh, meanwhile, Leicester City have broken the deadlock at Brighton through Matty James. It's Brighton 0, Leicester 1. Uh, Pablo Zabaleta has got the equaliser for West Ham United at home to Southampton. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Besic has uh, opened the scoring for Everton against the league leaders of Manchester City. Uh, Crystal Palace look to uh, be continuing uh, their um, current form. They now lead Liverpool at home by a goal to nil through Scott Dan. And as you see here, uh, the Watford keeper ready to save any shot from a Bournemouth striker. So our next goal is the equaliser for Brighton, as you see, uh, at home to Leicester. Dale Stevens getting that one. Uh, Dummett has uh, restored Newcastle's advantage at St James's Park against Huddersfield. They lead by two goals to one. Uh, West Bromwich Albion have struck an equaliser now uh, at home to Burnley. That's one all. Uh, Bournemouth. Uh, have uh, actually uh, had a shot struck, as you see there, through Simon Francis. However, it was saved by the Watford keeper, Jurelo Gomez. Uh, Southampton have uh, taken the lead again at West Ham United, this time through Ramu. They lead by two goals to one. Everton look to be beating the uh, league leaders today. They're now two goals up uh, with a second goal from Garner there. Uh, Wish Naldum has got the equaliser for Liverpool away at Crystal Palace, a nearly a shock result there. Uh, meanwhile, Danny Welbeck looks to have secured a victory for Arsenal at home to Stoke. They lead by two goals to one. And as you see, our final goal of the day is a late equaliser at uh, Vicarage Road uh, through Joshua King, and the game finishes Watford 1, Bournemouth 1. 
So the results are as follows. Arsenal 2, Stoke City 1. Brighton and Hove Albion 1, Leicester 1. Chelsea 2, Tottenham 1. Crystal Palace 1, Liverpool 1. Everton 2, Manchester City 0. Manchester United 1, Swansea 0. Newcastle United 2, Huddersfield 1. West Ham United 1, Southampton 2. Watford 1, Bournemouth 1. West Bromwich Albion 1, Burnley 1. So looking at the updated table in front of you there now, uh, after Manchester City's defeat, uh, Manchester United have gone level on points with them after their 1-0 home victory over Swansea. So it's all to play for uh, with just six games left. As you see, they're both teams on 53 points. Only a further three points away in third place are Southampton as well. So I wouldn't count those out of it either. In the relegation zone, we have Brighton, Crystal Palace and Swansea. Uh, trying to claw their way out of those places uh, but it's looking tougher and tougher as the season now uh, comes to an end uh, very very soon uh, they're running out of games to acquire those points so I hope you guys have enjoyed this Football Cards and Stickers Premier League game week. Uh, if you have, make sure you smash that like button. If you're not already a subscriber of the Football Cards and Stickers channel, click on that subscribe and then click on the bell just underneath this video so you're notified as and when future game weeks are uploaded. And of course I'll see you guys all in those videos, but until then, adios.